Welcome back! It's the final chapter of the game, and it's not quite as long as the previous ones, so we are actually quite close to the end! Rosella, change the imposter back into his rightful form! It's our only chance! Rosella, get him! No, no, get him! We need to change him using the wand, and I think this time it should be set to um, F. And Edgar? Edgar? From Kingsus 4? The son of Oberon and Titania? What are you doing here? Wasn't he the son of a lot? Rosella! Where are we? What's going on? That's a good question. Oops. Hey. My dear princess, I have something so special in store for you. I hope you enjoy hot weather. <laughs> <laughs> and that seems to be the inside of the volcano. <laughs> Which is not a nice place to be. Hey, felonies. We must hurry! Uh-oh. Wait, shouldn't you burn to death by now? Being that close to lava? Oh well, you know what they say. Convection, smonvection. Yeah, that's gonna help. A spider web. But what do we do? How can we get out of here? Looks like the only way to go is through the wall. There's actually, there used to be a time limit on this in the earlier version of the game, but not in this one. And I don't think you even really need your shovel to get through the wall. But it is one thing you can do. And it's a heck of a lot faster. Hey, the Gravedigger is back. I guess that means Velanese is on her way, but we can't wait for that. We have to save everyone! Can we go back into the volcano? Wouldn't you be just as... Uh, <laughs> just as liable to die in this side passage? <laughs> if the volcano blows as you would be out there. Anyway, uh, we just found out that the fake Troll King was actually Edgar, the Lot's son, who apparently actually is the son of Oberon and Titania, who they were looking for. Which is uh, convoluted at best. <laughs> but at least it explains why the fake Troll King wanted to lure Rosella into the realm of Eldritch by showing her the image of Etheria and the puddle, because it seems that um, he still remembered Rosella from King Kings was four, I guess, and that's why he wanted to see her again or whatever. Anyway, only one way we can go, which is over there. And now here we find a flower. Which is not here if you got the flower. <gasps> mm. Yes, climb on it first. Mm. Mm. That doesn't look like it should be 
that hard. Maybe we need to dislodge it. There we go. Anyway, if you got the flower from the uh, underneath the three flesh-eating plants before, then you there won't be one here because you won't need it. It's a fragrant flower, apparently. Can we smell it? No. Now we need to get into this door, which is why I said when we last saw the king open this that you had better be paying attention. You need to remember the sequence. Which is left eye, right eye, and then nose, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, then it won't open. Alright! How can we stop the volcano? I don't think we can stop the volcano. I guess that will be up to King Otar. But he seems to be out for the count. Hmm. What can we do? Wait a second. Is that an electricity socket? That reminds me. We need to plug in this mysterious device so we can uh, use it on Malaysia. It's charging. Neat. But how to wake up King Otar? Well, again, if you remember the beginning of the game, uh, chapter 2, we overheard the trolls um, talking about falling asleep and waking up. And they said back then that um, she used sulfur to fall asleep, which we already used to make that uh, guy in the, uh, the blacksmith fall asleep, but uh, it, he also, uh, she also said that it made her sleep so soundly that sometimes she needed a smelly flower to wake up. So, let's see if that trick works on King Otar. I don't see why not. And... I guess... Ooh! Uh, you might want to get out of the way there, uh, Titania. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> My daughter... Oh, I thought I'd never see you again. <gasps> Mama, I'm so sorry. I saw the castle and I jumped in to see and the troll king, I mean Edgar, well, he just... Edgar? <gasps> Let's not forget about Malisha, shall we? No, you'll not touch her. Out of my way, whelp. I enslaved your little mind once. Don't think I'll be so kind this time. Never again, Malisha! Wait, that just can do magic? The hell's going on here? No! Edgar! We only just met him again. Ah. Malisha, you fiend! I shan't let you get away with it! Drat it. I just should have been more decisive. Um... Did I wait too long or something? Wait, it puts me back here? Alright, uh, we'll skip ahead a bit in the video then. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Haha! Ah! <laughs> hey, her dog.
It turned her into a baby. <laughs> Stupid dog. I think you can use a thing on her on him as well. <laughs> no, he's a puppy. But what to do about Edgar? He's dead. Wait a second. We have an extra life. If you don't use it, you'll get a bad ending. I thought we'd never see you again. And that takes us Dominus, to the end. I cannot thank you enough. You have not only saved our world, you have given us back our greatest treasure, our son. Your son? Edgar? You? You know our son? <laughs> well, you see, I was stolen as a baby by an evil fairy named Lalote. She twisted my body and tried to twist my mind, but somehow I knew I was not her son. Then Rosella appeared. I knew she was special. She released me from my slavery to Lalote, and I went home to Etheria. We were so happy. The whole kingdom was overjoyed. We held a ball in our son's honor and... <gasps> our boy vanished from the gardens on the night of the party. We were crushed. We set off to search for him immediately. Now I know it was all part of Malicia's evil plot. But she won't Something be anyone. went terribly wrong with you, my sister. Let us start over again, shall we? <coughs> Rosella, it was I who lured you into this world. I kidnapped you. I know you can never forgive me, but please let me assure you that I was not in my right mind. I would never have done that had I known. Edgar, would you show me the sights of Etheria? After all, it's what I came for. I guess that's a yes. It's so beautiful. Rosella, you've been in my heart since the day I first saw you. Rosella, may I... may I have the honor of courting you? Yes, you may. Well, at least you're not jumping straight into marriage. That's something. And so, my dear viewers, we bring King's Quest 7 to a close. As I already indicated, this game isn't really the kind of game I'd normally play, and I probably wouldn't have done a Let's Play of it if it weren't part of the series. That's nothing to do with the quality of the game, really, it's just that the changes made to the tone and feel of the game put me outside of the target audience, as this game is geared more towards younger players. The bigger problem King's Quest 7 faced is that it came after King's Quest 6, which had been very well received, so expectations were high. Unfortunately, number 7 couldn't quite meet them. In almost all respects, it's a step back. The shift to Disney-style animations might have worked if the animations weren't so damned awful most of the time. Sierra would get better at it with games like uh, Space Quest 6, Leisure Suit Larry 7, and Torn's Passage, but Kings Quest 7 doesn't get a free pass to be bad at it just because they did it first. The story is not as well executed um, either as it was in Kings Quest 6, and just doesn't manage to emotionally connect, at least not for me. Some people in a land we've never heard of are endangered by a villain whose motives are vague at best. And where Alexander's quest for Cosima is built up for, from the start, 
Edgar is just sort of dropped into the story here for no good reason. It also doesn't help that Rosella feels less mature in this game than she did in Kings Quest 4. It really seems like she's kind of out of character here. Oh, and by the way, with Alexander ruling the land of the Green Isles and Rosella likely to stay in Etheria with Edgar, Daventry is once again without an heir. Those people just can't catch a break, can they? However, it's still quite a good game, actually. There's a good variety in locations, and some of the characters are quite memorable, like for instance Dr. Cadaver. The game has a good sense of fun throughout, and doesn't seem to take itself too seriously, which fits with the more light-hearted feel they were going for. Some of the puzzles are a bit obscure, particularly when they expect you to backtrack the locations that you haven't visited in several chapters, but they're mostly solvable. Most importantly, you can't make the game unwinnable, and you don't need to save every five minutes in case you die, and that lack of cruelty is appreciated and frankly long overdue. It makes the game much friendlier to beginning players than its predecessors. And that then takes us to the end of the King's Quest saga. We've seen Graham become king, find a wife, lose and regain both his children, nearly die of a heart attack and get his castle stolen. Finally, we've seen both of his children mature and find their path in life. Through it all, a rich tapestry has been woven, creating the world of King's Quest and linking the games together. We've also seen the growth of the adventure game genre from its simplistic parser-based beginnings, through the height of its prowess in the point-and-click VGA era, and then the move to a more simplified, uh, simplified interface and high-resolution graphics. Of course, the logical next step is then to throw all of that away and make the next game a 3D action RPG, with very little resemblance to an actual adventure game. Also, let's give Daventry's royal family nothing more than a glorified cameo, and make the main character someone else entirely, and write a story that has absolutely nothing to do with King's Quest whatsoever. Yes, unfortunately, that's what King's Quest uh, Mask of Eternity was like, a game that is ki only King's Quest in name, and managed to disappoint just about everyone. I have never played that game, there's just nothing in it that appeals to me. Nothing I've ever seen of that game has made me want to play it, so I doubt I ever will. That, of course, means that we are now done with King's Quest, as far as my Let's Plays are concerned. But, of course, there are still other CR games, and I've been working on some other things as well. So, thanks for taking this journey through King's Quest with me, and I'll see you in the near future with a brand new Let's Play. Oh.